I've been contemplating doing this video for a while now. So let me just set this up really quick. As I was preparing breakfast this morning before I went to the studio to record a lesson for you guys, uh, I was cutting an avocado and blood everywhere. I have like this ghetto rig. Uh, I didn't have any, you know, any medical stuff, but it's not that bad, but this led me to say, this may be a good time for this video. So I wanted to cut the heel just a little bit more before I started playing and don't laugh at my bandage guys. But anyway, so many people have asked me before or I get the same exact question or comment, uh, where are your glasses, where is your hat? Uh, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know before when I first started this YouTube channel, I used to always wear a hat and glasses, some type of sunglasses or some type of hat, any type of hat really didn't matter, but it was a certain kind that I wore a lot. So that was to portray a different sense of a style. You know, mainly you see a, a lot of bass players have that style, like maybe Marcus Miller has, you know, the fedora on, um, that type of hat or those type of styles that you see bass players are really, really common to bass players. Uh, so I didn't want to do that. So I just wanted to wear something different, but I really didn't want to wear that style of hat only because I didn't want people to think that I was copying or trying to mimic somebody else that I wasn't, uh, even though the hat that I ended up wearing was very common too. Anyway, that's besides the point. So I felt like I should say this because it wasn't a fashion standpoint at the time. So the main reason why I wore those things was not to look cool, not to look hip, not to be like another bass player, but I really was trying to hide. So with growing the facial hair and the beard, even though I still have it, uh, the glasses and the hat were something to hide behind. Uh, like I said, it wasn't a fashion sense or anything like that. I just wanted to be able to hide. I wasn't that comfortable showing myself on camera uh, at the time. Uh, for a long period of time so it became my look it became something that people identified me as so people only saw me or recognized me as i grew a following as the guy with the glasses or the bass player with the glasses or the hat so every time i was seen without it it was like who are you so it was a dilemma to me because my identity felt like it was being lost so after a while um i kind of got rid of things gradually i got rid of the hat gradually um and then next came the glasses, even though I actually still, <laughs> I still need to wear glasses now, but I still have to get used to them. So I'll put them on after this. So I got rid of that afterwards and I started to feel a little bit better and just kind of forced myself to feel comfortable with just showing me. It was already a struggle for me in the beginning posting on social media. And this is really weird for me to do this right now. So if I seem awkward, just don't worry about it. Unless I have a bass in my hand, that's when I feel most comfortable. But anyway, I always showed my playing when I posted something with only my hands and my bass, my face was never shown. So through self-awareness and just trying to realize who I was and getting more comfortable being who I was and letting people see my face, not only my face, but the expressions that I make, you know, I was ashamed of the expressions that I have and, you know, the huge, crazy, big, Kool-Aid smile that I have when I'm playing. I was ashamed of all of that beforehand, but I had to realize like that's a part of me and I couldn't change that. Once I started doing that, uh, I think people really started accepting me and really started liking that I was showing myself even more. So I don't know why I felt like I had to say this to you guys. Uh, I, I, you know, a lot of people ask me even here on YouTube, Instagram, if you don't follow me there, Facebook, everywhere, uh, any social media platform, I get this question a lot. So I figured I would do one video to address. Uh, I kind of been shying away from un from answering that question as far as where's the hat and where's the glasses. Uh, but the real reason behind it, I just wasn't happy with myself. I uh, wasn't comfortable with myself showing myself, wasn't comfortable being on camera, just being face to face with you guys. Uh, it shows a real sense of vulnerability. So I don't know who, maybe you going through that. I don't know. Maybe you, you just find this interesting, but I feel like I needed to tell you guys this and this is the perfect time because uh, I can't play anyway. Um, well, I choose not to play. I won't say that. So uh, yeah, hopefully, I don't know. You got something out of this video. I don't know really what else to say. Maybe you're trying to figure out or maybe you have a question of what can you do while you're, um, you know, handicapped <laughs> like this or, you know, sometimes I use Sometimes I use things like this, you know, to work on my other hand, like a gripper, just for grip strength. Uh, I can't, I, I can do it on this hand, but it's, you know, 
pretty hard to do right now. But what, say if one of your hands becomes, you know, you hurt one of them and you're trying to figure out something to do, this is kind of, you know, it controls your separate individual fingers. Um, Grip Master, I'll put a link to this. I, I got this, this, I've had this for years. This is heavy tension. You don't want to start off with this, uh, but it controls individually each finger, each four fingers, right? So it has a spring that controls each one. It actually helps and strengthens each finger. And you need that to be able to press the strings down on the frets. Uh, you need that to be able to have strength to pluck, um, to pluck a little bit harder too. Uh, but anyway, so stuff like that, I didn't really even mean to mention that, but if you're wondering, uh, that's it. So hopefully you guys got something out of this. Also, I wanna take the time out to just to say thank you guys for subscribing. I don't know how long you've been here. Uh, if you're seeing this video for the first time, you're probably wondering like, what is this dude talking about? Uh, but yeah, go back and look at my other videos and you'll see exactly what I mean. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, had over uh, 100,000 subscribers right now on YouTube. This is absolutely crazy to me. I, it started off as a very small channel, just trying to you know, spread the information, what I knew and what I love to do. Um, it was hard in the beginning. Uh, it, it's still hard now, uh, but I've definitely grown a little bit more comfortable to it. Thanks to you guys uh, for your huge support and uh, your constant views every single week and just coming back and just being a part of this base nation. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you guys have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, hit that red subscribe button on the bottom. Take a look at any other videos. Go back. Even though I don't, I would hate that you would, go back and look at the beginning videos uh, that we've done on this channel. And uh, yeah, just see exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> and yeah, have yourself a nice little laugh. But I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.